All the coolers on this table currently have no official AM4 bracket support, leaving Asus the happiest company in the world with their Crosshair 6 because of its AM3 and AM4 support. So the question is, why was there no AM4 support and why is there still no AM4 bracket support for these CLCs? We have answers for you and we'll be digging through official commentary and statements from the suppliers and the manufacturers through Reddit posts made by the official representatives and through some emails to explain what's going on and when you can expect your brackets. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by EVGA's 1080 Ti FTW3 video card, which will have NTC thermistors on it for tracking the VRM and VRAM temperatures. You can learn more at the link in the description below. We already talked about the AM4 bracket support and how limited it is for liquid coolers in our initial 1800X review on page two, but we now have some official information from the suppliers and manufacturers. That includes Asetek, NZXT, Corsair, and EVGA, who have just gotten into the space with their CLCs for CPUs. And so we can talk through that. But first, to answer the most immediate question that everyone has, when will AM4 brackets for these closed loop coolers become available? And which manufacturers does the shortage affect? To answer the first question, from what we've been told by the suppliers and the manufacturers, wide mass production availability should begin in the first half of April. Early April is kind of what we're be being told, early April. So that's probably the first week based on the other timelines I've been given. In terms of immediate availability, some of the manufacturers are expecting to begin shipment next week from publication of this video. So that would be Corsair for some early availability of their air shipped brackets from Asetek. And then NZXT might begin shipping next week, but in the very worst case, early April is what we're being told for them and for EVGA, and that is official from the manufacturers. Being the largest of the manufacturers we're talking about today for liquid coolers, Corsair is the most impacted by this. They have thousands of brackets on request. And so that means it might take them a few days to start getting those shipments actually out to the consumers, but they are working on it. It's just, it's a lot of requests to go through. So the next thing then, now that we've gotten kind of the when answered, is why. Why was this a thing to begin with? Why weren't coolers available immediately or very shortly after launch? It's getting on to be about a month now, so uh, taking a bit of time and just browsing through forums and Reddit and Twitter, you can see that some of the manufacturers, that'd be Corsair, NZXT, and EVGA, are starting to take heat from consumers who are getting rightfully impatient. So let's walk through it. AM4 mounting holes have a different spacing and pressure requirement from AM3, and manufacturers who use a custom backplate have had to retool to produce AM4 backplates. Manufacturers like Noctua did well with AM4 and were officially sent out with reviewer kits as a result. The Noctua air cooler is an air cooler, and so Noctua had access to a spec from AMD that specified the mounting pressure for air coolers. Cooling manufacturers, like motherboard manufacturers, had to scramble for the launch of Ryzen. Lead time provided by AMD to its vendors numbered in the weeks, with final microcode submissions arriving to motherboard vendors on February 14th or 15th. There's more to it than just limited lead time, though, as you'd have your brackets in hand by now if that were the only issue. Supplier Asetek informed Gamers Nexus in an official communication that, quote, I can confirm that AMD has provided no hardware to support development of a retention mechanism for the AM4 Ryzen launch. Like other partners in the ecosystem, retail product was not made available to cooling manufacturers sufficiently before it launched to prepare a product in time. And further, we have learned from the cooling manufacturers that the mounting pressure defined in AMD's spec is allegedly only for the pressure required to mount a larger air cooler and does not specify the pressure required for a smaller pump. To this end, a pump would be loose on the IHS if mounted using the four screws method, which Asetek does, whereas coolers that use crossbar retention mechanism would be able to make up for the lack of pressure from standoffs and cap screws by just having that crossbar mounting. This explains why Coolit made Corsair products have been available from the start. They used that crossbar for retention, so pressure wasn't much of an issue. In a post made by NZXT to its subreddit, the company stated, Thankfully, our friends at Tom's Hardware brought to the public's attention an issue with third-party AM4 cooling solutions, as the specifications supplied by AMD did not include the height of the backplate screw holders. This has created a discrepancy in backplates that does not allow for coolers to have adequate pressure on the CPU. This validates what we heard from other manufacturers and suppliers, and NZXT continues to reiterate the same, saying, to further compound this problem, 
We were unable to receive an AMD certified motherboard in order to test our Kraken AM4 solution. We then reached out to an SI who asked to remain unidentified and were able to receive the following letter from Ace Attack that was sent to the SI. And of import, the letter states, quote, due to unforeseen inconsistencies between motherboard and manufacturer's backplate dimensions and AMD's thermal specification, we are forced to make significant changes to our AMD standoffs to ensure we will not encounter problems with out of spec backplates. The letter later goes on to state that, quote, after receiving our CPUs and boards late last week, we confirmed that the AM3 standoffs do not provide adequate clamp force. And a bit later they say, we are currently rapid prototyping the new standoff and will have a mass production timeline by the beginning of next week. We are still targeting to supply customers with quantities of retention kits ordered by end of month via air shipment. Please keep in mind, no Acetec customer has been provided a retention solution yet. Given all this information, we now have a better idea as to why the four screw and ring based mounting mechanism has been delayed for coolers that use it. That would mostly include things like this, though there are others on the market that are not from Acetec. Coolers that use the retention bar or crossbars or other types of clamps like the ones natively supported by AM4 and its installed mounting kit that is on the motherboards that would include things like the Thermaltake Contact 12. Those are fine. Air coolers already had a spec with a mounting pressure defined and also some of them just don't need the extra custom back plates and so they bypass this issue altogether. For liquid coolers that do require the custom mounting mechanisms either because the supplier has decided to design it that way or because the retention demands it for pressure and force reasons on the IHS, they're not too far away at this point. It's about a week out, maybe two, depending on which manufacturer you are waiting for. And it sounds like it was a matter of late arrival for product to test the retention kits on, uh, late notice and potentially missing information from a spec, but that should all be resolved at this point and we're really just waiting on the things to get delivered via air or boat. Uh, so mass production wide availability, first half of April for sure. The only place you might still have delays is if perhaps you're a Corsair customer and at that point you're just waiting a couple days hopefully so that they can go through their backlog of orders. So I think that addresses this issue as much as it can be addressed as always. Links in the description below for more information. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus to help us out directly. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.